Okay, we have a problem here. The shower comes on when you try to fill the bathtub. Not supposed to happen. Okay, so what we figured out, the person who installed this whole thing for us, we have it all kind of professionally installed. And we paid the person, they're long gone, you know how that goes, you paid the contractor before the work is done, and you know how the story ends, don't do that. Okay, so I called the company that manufactured this thing. First thing they said is, this should not be more than 12 inches above this. That's the first problem, which is kind of scary because that means I have to rip out the whole thing and start over. Second thing they said is if they used PEX, which is this plastic pipe here, that the diameter of that and a half inch PEX is not the same diameter of a copper pipe. And you can probably see that on there. The PEX is a little bit more narrow in diameter than the copper. So, first thing I did, not knowing whether or not they use copper or PEX, is I cut out the wall, I get this handy little tool. It's your favorite uh, home improvement store. And I sliced out a chunk there, and here we go. And this right here was this PEX, which is the incoming line. This is going from the spout up to the valve, which is behind here. And this was PEX, so what I did, I just swapped it out. Gotta love those shark bite connectors, because you can reuse your, your uh, fittings and all that. So I just swapped it out with a piece of copper. And as luck would have it, this actually worked. You may have noted when I started the video that I had this pulled up a little bit because I was trying to demonstrate what was actually happening. But as of right now, we don't have that problem. So the way this whole setup works is as this gets pulled up, it closes that hole down there and forces the water back up through the valve and into the shower head. Which, I'm glad it works. However, if that didn't actually work, what I was gonna have to do, which I already had my wall marked in case I had to do it to cut it out because the shower head is like right here on the other side. I was going to have to create what's known as inverted U. I was going to have to come off of this copper on an elbow and go all the way up as high as it would go because this ceiling is like low. I'm like, like five foot five. I can actually touch the ceiling. So in this part of the house is lower. But I have to go all the way up in to the inside there as far as I could go and then come back over and then down to the shower head. And that way you'd have all the extra length of the pipe that water could build up in and kind of hold the pressure back to keep it from coming out the shower head. But fortunately I didn't have to do that so I got lucky there. Now it works. So if you have a problem someone installs a shower for you and water comes out of both at the same time, one or two things have happened, or three things actually. They could have installed this upside down inside here which that would be a epic fail. Or it was too high from the spout, or in this case they use PEX instead of the copper tubing they should have used. But nevertheless, if you got that problem, you know how to fix it now. Enjoy, like, subscribe, and do all that, and we'll see you on the next video.